Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a look at the Proxima Skip Tracer. Today's design is the Proxima Skip Tracer, and it is an unlock level 15 size class 4 small vessel coming to us from no other than Piston. That's right, Piston's back, and he has got some more great designs being added to the workshop. This one caught my attention because of its very polished and sleek looking exterior. It definitely feels like a ship you would see in a sci-fi movie. I love how Piston has used the glowing orange color of the blocks in the back near the thrusters so it feels like you've got two sets of thrusters and kind of what we would expect to see in something like this from a science fiction movie. I also love the placement of the core in the back middle section and how it's set up to glow because that adds another nice aesthetic to this. I also like the hexagon designs along the two sides of the back entryway because it feels like this could be a spot for a docking clamp to attach or perhaps for a fuel clamp to attach so they can refill the ship through one of these ports. Coming to the back of the ship, we have a ramp that extends, another one that opens up, and a door that opens up, allowing you access into the back passenger area. Both sides of this area are identical except for a small difference in the cargo box arrangements. Each passenger seat has a nice little LCD screen in front of it, emulating a keyboard, and gives it a feel of having somebody there managing something at the back of the ship. Each side also has a nice mobile constructor embedded in the wall and a nice little shelf there making it feel like a real workspace. Heading through the next door we come into a hallway and if you take the door to the right it takes you into a small living quarters area where you have a cargo box and an armor locker as well as just some nice aesthetics to emulate the feel of it being a private room. Taking the other door in this hallway leads you into a smaller area where you see two signs for stasis chambers. These are actually cockpits that you can use to get in and it makes it feel more like a real stasis chamber. Heading through the next door, we come into the main cockpit area. To the right side, you will find a couple more cargo boxes in the wall, along with three fridges, signs that make it seem like they are pieces of an oven or separate ovens, as well as a mobile constructor with a nice little setup on it and makes it look like a stovetop. On the other side of the room, around the corner, we have a bed and bathroom amenities. And then on the wall here, you see we have controls for the window shutters and the lobby lights. Obviously, the lobby lights are actively running, but when you flip the window shutters, the shutters up in the corners of the ceiling will reveal nice windows outside, so you do have a nice view. Of course, we also have an oxygen station, an armor locker, and another cargo box here. We have two passenger seats in the middle area, and to the side of one of these, we have another cargo box, and then you have your pilot seats in the front section. Once again, this is the Proxima Skip Tracer, and it's an unlock level 15 size class 4 small vessel. It comes with 9 fuel tanks for a total of 5,400 fuel, and at almost full capacity, sitting still with thrusters turned off, has over 12 hours of use. There is actually two sets of thrusts that you can use. You can use the regular thrusters and RCS, which will cut your power down to about 7 hours, and then you can use the maximum thrust, which will give you the best speed and turn on all thrusters, and will of course burn up more power as you move around. It comes with 17 oxygen tanks giving you a total of 6,750O2 but only needs 21 to fill it up. Because of the different compartments it does have 5 ventilators and the one oxygen station to help keep your suit oxygenated. For weapons it has a very good complement of 4 rail guns, 6 gatling guns and 4 homing rocket launchers. It also comes with a total of 20 cargo boxes and 6 ammo boxes, along with the 3 fridges and 3 mobile constructors. In terms of resource cost for this, obviously the iron and sathium are going to be up there a bit because of the armor, but also because of the weapons, you're going to have a good bit of arrestrum and zascosium included in this. While I do like the aesthetics of this, I feel there are probably better vessels out there you could put the same amount of resources towards and get a better result from. That being said, this definitely stands out in terms of the way the design looks. Piston is known for creating very elaborate and very nice looking designs and this is just another good example of why he is known for that. For me, this definitely would be more of a late game luxury type vessel because of the fact that it looks so good as opposed to using it more for the functionality aspect of it. 
But once again, this is the Proxima Skip Tracer by Piston, and if you would like to check it out, I will have a link in the description below. Of course, if you try it out and like it, be sure to leave him a thumbs up and a nice comment on the workshop page. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.